Hello everybody, this is Shotgun is 1000 and Polly for GT. Welcome back to an episode of Banjo Kazooie. Last time we unlocked Click Clock Wood and managed to grab not so many collectibles in spring form. Knowing that um, we fell from this um, tree house that's not even fully built yet. In this episode, we are going to be exploring much, much more of Click Clock Wood by starting off killing this enemy. To activate this switch, which will open up the door to summer. But we don't really need to go there quite yet because there's still some things we need to do in spring. Yeah, that's a that is one greedy ass squirrel. He loves that that's Nab Nut the squirrel. He loves acorns, as you can pretty much tell. And he says he's going to eat a few more, but trouble is, you see when we get into summer, um, why he shouldn't really be eating so much. I've right, got another mumbo token sitting right here. And um, you notice that we had this nest early, earlier on. So if we go here, take the shock jump disc to the egg, and ground pound it. Wow, me! Airy mighty ego needs sleep now! Can't believe it. It's like, you notice that my 360 controller lost battery life again. And yet, I only just a second changed the batteries. Yeah. I already... Seriously, off camera, I seriously changed the batteries. And... I think... I don't really understand why, but... Why is it that batteries lose their life when they're not in use? Why is that? But anyway, if we go inside this door, this area is actually really hard to reach in summer, by the way. But fortunately, you saw me go in there, no problem. We got a life over here, but more importantly, we got a jiggy. So that's our second jiggy in spring, and I think there isn't anything else in here. We occasionally see people try to climb up this tree I oh there's a life I don't really need to grab that but at least you know it's there um I I'm gonna be a daredevil here Geronimo that was a big mistake I thought I, I thought I could make it in the water. Yeah, we know, Nante. We can't do it in spring because your area is full of water. All right, I'm gonna have to be really careful right here because. We've only got one hit left before we die. So yeah, we can now leave spring for the time being. There might be something else that we can do there, but I don't think there is right now. So let's go inside summer. And the gremlin hood is, um, yeah. Eerie hungry, uh, yeah. So Eerie the Mighty Eagle. He needs caterpillars and we need to find five of them. Here's one of them, sitting right by the entrance. Eat the animals like caterpillars. Oh great, we got a bunch of bees guarding a Jinzo right here. That one can actually be easily missed. Make sure to remember to grab it. Yeah, that's the problem with Summer. You've got so many bees mucking about. 
Controller, seriously, stop randomly disconnecting. Alright. Yep. There you go. Ground pound that. Now, Naughty says that he's got a gift of us. But, unfortunately, that hill is too high for us to climb. So, we're going to have to remember to come back there later. And don't think you can go in there in spring. Because, if you leave spring... Enter here in summer, destroy that boulder, and then come back in spring, that boulder will show up again. And you'll have to um, destroy it once more. So make sure to destroy it in summer, and then come in another season that is not spring. Because it will reset time. Anyway, here's the autumn switch. So we can now enter autumn whenever we like. Right now, I just want to focus in summer for the time being. Starting off with climbing up the tree, obviously. Oh, and by the way, in case you're wondering, um, you know the bee transformation that... Seriously, I'm going to be so peed off with my controller in a minute. It's switched off. Just before I was about to attack that big clunker. So yeah, as I was saying, the bee transformation that we got in spring, you can only grab that in spring because... Um, well, you only see bees in spring really. You don't see them in summer, except those bees down there. Um, you don't see them in autumn, and you don't see them in winter. Oh, look who it is! It's Gobi the Camel. From, um, Gobi's Valley. Let's head over there and say hi. Oh no, it's you two again! Gobi thought he was safe here. Yeah, it took ages to find more water, yeah. All Gobi wants is a drink of water, and we're just beating it out of him. Just to water a plant. Here's a one up over here. And I've seen to notice something. Every single time I do the ground pound lately, my 360 controller keeps randomly turning itself off. I don't know why. Or is it just generally in cutscenes? There you go, that's another big clunker done. There's a caterpillar over there in front of Mumbo's hut. So, yeah. I'll show you the reason why you can only turn into a bee form in spring. Keeping my patience, keeping my patience. So let's... Thought I made that. So yeah, we enter here. Too hot for magic. Mumbo wants some tan. Yeah. He decides to have a sun tan, so he so he calls the magic the uh, magic off in summer, so he can have a tan. Even though he's in a hut that's got a big roof, that, believe it or not, um, doesn't shine light through it. Right, let's grab some life back. Uh, right, so there's nothing else that we can do on the bit on the bottom of the tree, so let's climb up. Hi. Beach up right in the kisser there, clunker. 
So yeah, notice these leaves. Um, they were blossoming in spring and now they're fully... Uh, they've fully grown in summer now. So let's um, try our best not to fall off on these leaves. Do the shock jump. Because you noticed, there's a Jiggy over here. Only in summer you can grab this, by the way. You can actually um, arrive there in um, spring, but there'll be nothing there. Yeah, we're just going to fall down here, without hurting ourselves, of course. And we're going to properly climb up this tree. Again. And believe me when I say this, you have to do this in every single season. There's a caterpillar over there, so we're going to have to grab that. Every time you see a caterpillar, make sure to grab it, because you will need a lot. Trust me on this. Get rid of those big clunkers. And we got some notes that's guiding us to this beehive, so... Here we go. And yeah, the Jinzo, in case you're wondering, inside Sumba's hive can only be grabbed in spring as well. Zzz, the honey bear, he's after Quincy's golden honey piece. Sting him, Sumba's. Now, you can actually do this with the golden feather, but I'm doing this the legit way. Because I love the music in this. There you go. You do take a couple of hits. Yeah, see there? He's like, oh no, he's got Gunty's hidden treasure. Oh well. We'd, we were getting bored of guarding it anyway. Whoop. So let's um, high jump out of here and continue climbing the tree. See what else we can grab up here. And yes, when I say you got to do this in every single season, I am not joking. You do actually have to climb up this tree in every single season. Oh, there's a Mumba token up there. Oh, is that what that um, um, shock jump disc was about? Oh, there's a Jiggy inside there. Bad. Damn, game designers and their thin ass... Uh, walking planks. Right, so I can see here the um, flooring has not been fully built yet. So I'm going to jump over here and grab this life first and then jump over here and grab the jiggy. You do want to do that because if you try to jump straight for the jiggy, you will miss it. And that's exactly the reason why. Right, let's um, re-climb up the tree. Good thing we didn't die, of course. Because if we did die, the big clunkers inside every season that you have killed will have respawned it. And in case you're wondering, the snare bears here, they, um, they are alive in the spring form of click clock wood, the summer form of click clock wood, and the autumn form of click clock, uh, click -clock wood. The winter form, they're not. Right, let's zoom the camera out. I don't know why it keeps zooming in so close. And yeah, this path is actually um, built up a bit more now, so we can walk along here safe and sound. There's a hive there with bees guarding it. Let's visit Nabnut. Okay. Nabnut's eaten too many acorns. I've got none left for next winter now. Yep. Yeah. That's why I didn't say anything. Because him, he eats so much acorns. 
But I say so many acorns in spring that he's got none left for winter. So we've got some notes over here. You do actually need the talent shot to get up there, by the way. Ah, I take your caterpillar. Oh, we were running in for dinner tonight because I don't think Gremlin should really eat caterpillars. Not really healthy. Now, this bit is a little bit annoying right here. you got to kill the birds as you're jumping onto a tiny platform that is really hard to land on. Right, here we go. There's a one caterpillar, a two caterpillar, a three caterpillar, a four caterpillar, and a five caterpillar, leaving two left for us, even though we don't really eat caterpillars. Uh, you could say excuse me when you burp, mate. Yeah. So, yeah. We fed five caterpillars to Eerie. We haven't been given an award yet. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why the heck did that high jump fail? I didn't even said high jump kick then. <laughs> I'm referencing Pokemon Coliseum all over again because I use the Hydrum Kicking um, Hydrum Kicking Metacham, which didn't really get much love because my Metacham was really a main target for bullying right there. Nobody even showed any love for it, and I felt really sorry for Metacham to be honest because I know Metacham was not really defensive, but they are a helpful Pokemon when needed. Right. I don't think we actually need to climb up here, to be honest. Because I think... Um, up here is just the room. Yeah, we got a snare bear here that's not guarding anything. But we do have this room that would be guarding a jiggy. So yeah, this Jiggy would actually be sitting in here in every single season, by the way. Once you grab it in one of the seasons, you don't need to come back down here. Just do that. Okay. So I think we are officially done in summer now, so we can move over to the next season of autumn. Watch out for those bees. I can, cleverly, I can actually say, that is a well cleverly hidden snare bear, except his jaws and his eyes kind of give it away. So we've got dragonflies guarding the autumn door. Whoop! <laughs> they headbutted each other. <laughs> oh. And look at this. Bear get here, more caterpillars. Need ten this time. And he didn't even notice that there's actually one caterpillar sitting behind him. Yeah, imagine that. So in autumn, as you can pretty much tell, we got leaves piled up all over the place. And water has actually returned. Which means we can enter Nanti's, um cave now, can't we? Right? Well, let's see. We swim in. And sure enough, here we are. Ah, oh, here you are, at last. I've been waiting months to give you this. Yeah, you can only grab this in autumn. You can actually come inside Nanti's den in winter, but... He won't be holding on for the jiggy. He won't he won't be holding on to the jiggy for you. Excuse me. Yeah. He won't be holding on to the jiggy for you if you enter his hut in winter. You have to You have to do it in autumn. I cannot stop burping today. 
So yeah, you see, the snare bear is still there and he's guarding three notes. So we need... There we go. But yeah, Gobi is still here. Ground Panning was more, water the plant even more. There's a ginger up there. And there's our flower. Right, that's it. I'm off to the lava world. You'll never find me there. Yeah. In case you're wondering what he means by lava world, um, well, all I can say is the lava world he's on about is not in this game. It's in another game. You'll see soon enough. I'm not going to spoil anything. Ah, big book on just in the water. Oh look, there's a caterpillar up there. And yes, you do actually need to use the talent shot up these leaves. And look! Notes to be grabbed around the tree, only in autumn. Good thing there was water there. So let's grab all these notes. I was highly expecting that um, big clunker to hit me there. Oh look at that! Oh look at that! The snare bear is sitting on, on top of one of those um, gliding um, discs. Smack on the cheek. He's been a naughty boy. And that was right on the nose. Well, beak, in other words. Alright, let's run around the tree even more. You actually do want to grab all these notes, by the way. You really do. You don't completely need to grab all um, 900 notes, but trust me, you do. Oh, that's, that's the big clunker sitting above us. Alright, no, 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 that's in the bramble, that's in the bramble. I can't even see where I'm going. There we go. Got out of there. Right. So, I think, yeah, these are... There we go. So, we got a caterpillar there, and we actually want to jump down, because I think there might be a caterpillar inside Mumbo's hut as well. Yep, sure enough, I was right. Mumbo busy sweeping many leaves. No magic today. Yep. So there's another reason why you can't really do it in autumn. Because, one, there are no bees to exist in autumn. And two, he's sweeping leaves. Let's grab all these notes. I think we got them all. Yep. Up. Oh. <laughs> Alright then, uh, so yeah, we've actually come to the end of the time limit, so it's time to go to the end of this episode. So next time on Banjo-Kazooie, we are going to be exploring the remainder of Click Clock Wood in autumn and hopefully unlock winter, if we can find the switch. See you guys then.